Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube here in the uh, Queensland on the Sunshine Coast, Australia. I am trying today. I'm giving it a real hot shot on having a go at the Shelley art technique using um, all of Shelley's actual pouring, mess uh, pouring recipe for the paint and for mixing my pigments. So there are loads of videos out there showing um, how the pigments and paints are mixed up. So I won't go into those unless you particularly would like me to. They are a mixture of pigments I'm using here. There's color art pigments, just resin pigments, Shelley's piggies, um, but they are all actually pigments, which you know that I'm just not a fan of probably too lazy to mix my pigments sometimes you don't get it right but i'm giving this a go in these beautiful earthy colors i will actually take a photograph i think of all the colors i'm using that would be easier because i had no idea um but anyway i'll let you watch me layer the colors and then i'll jump in i'll be beside you all So this is what they call the cell activator. So I have mixed Amsterdam black with Floetrol. Apparently there's a new, several new, what they call cell activators um, that really work well. But um, that's what I'm using today because that's what I have handy. That is um, a fantastic color art spatula. I did try to do the swipe, as you've seen, with the plastic that I normally do my swipes with. But because it's, I reckon, because it's pigments there and it's house paint, uh, it's a whole thicker consistency. So my swipes weren't working with just the plastic um, that I use for my normal stuff. But this is working really well. That particular spatula is working awesome for this job. So it's just literally loading my spatula up with a bit of the cell activator. And absolutely look at those. It is unbelievably gorgeous. You could, um, I didn't have the sound up on this while I was doing it, but I was squealing away, going, ooh, ah, doing all the ooh, ahs because it was so exciting with such beautiful rich earthy colors it was very nice maybe six week old pigments that were mixed by me and left in those containers. There is a mixture there of all sorts of pigments. There's um, little piggies pigments, there's resin art pigments, there's just resin. Oh my goodness, we're all blinged by color art, all sorts. But they've been mixed a good six months and I put them aside no, not six months, six weeks in those containers. And look at that. Wow, wow, wow. So I'm going to try and tilt it now. So hopefully I do not wreck it, but the colors are absolutely gorgeous together. And those interference um, pigments are just making it sparkle. Look at it sparkle. So on with the next bit. Okay, here we go. I haven't, I'm going to tilt it, but I'm going to do one of those swirly things through it to wrecked. Oh, 
Okay, let's see how this goes. The colours are just phenomenal. Oh, let's hope when I tilt it, it's still... stays gorgeous. Doesn't matter if the cells stretch out, I quite like that. I guess what would have worked better would have been on a spinner to get that paint over the edges and even it out. But I'll just work slowly, so just bear with me. Oh gosh, stretching out, they're looking even. Oh, wow, we. It is sometimes nice to work with things that don't make you comfortable, like I'm not one for mixing the pigments and getting, you know, doing, I'm mixing my own pigments. I just love uh, the paints and I do enjoy the process of mixing my, you know, pouring media, uh, say global paints with my pouring medium kind to prep my paints for a piece but pigments I'm not too I think oh all that time I could be painting while you're mixing 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 waiting for them to um, uh, the better if they're left to blend in wow those colors are sensational but it is a shame I'm gonna lose a bit of the look at this here wow now I've got to take it down the other end and see. So I'm gonna obviously change this whole thing, but I think it's gonna be just stunning because this stretching out are just gorgeous. Very slow because I'm using house paint, which um, I've told you loads and loads of times, people that ask, I hardly ever use house paint. So this is the um, base color for these pigments for the Shelly Art. The Shelly Art um, particular technique and it's mixed, the paints were all mixed in the Shelly Art recommendation. So um, Shelley does a, a course that tells you all the recipes and things to buy. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but I know that loads of people do uh, videos with all the recipe. And so, I mean, there's loads out there that you can watch how to mix your paints. This is slow, slow, slow. Maybe there's an easier way of doing this, but I think that is, this is gonna be worth resin coating because I can see that the pigments are just gonna look beautiful. But I am so surprised how slow it is to stretch them out. Maybe there's a trick to it. Maybe I should have used more pillar paint. Is that the trick? Sorry if it's going out of the camera. Come on. I'll tilt it back. Look at those colours. So as I say to you when I'm doing one of my ordinary pours is to always re-tilt to centre it, re-centre the paint. Yeah, I haven't got any paint over that edge there and I, I don't really want to lose much more. So maybe the trick was that I should have just used more paint and more base paint so as it would have slid over nicely. But I've got some lovely cells happening around me from the paint that strip, dripped off. Wow. I don't think I really want to... Oh, how am I going to do that? No. Let me see. That is gorgeous. That will look stunning with a resin coat on it.
I'm getting in a right mess here. I took my gloves off, didn't I? I love the way it's gone over the edge everywhere else, but this one area, maybe I can scoop some paint up. Scoop some paint up and just like, that's got these lovely cells in it and trip them over the edge. Well, that seems to be the go. Oh, that was too much. I just wanted that nice edge like I've got in most of the places. Look at those lovely cells in that one. Ooh, too good to waste. Do people doing this Shelley art style always take as long as I am doing doing it? Maybe because I'm not, um, it's not my thing that I normally do, but boy oh boy, that is super duper. I'm not sure whether to um, run some more wiggly things. What do you think? Should I or shouldn't I? Let's just try here. It's through these weirdo lines. Will it fall back in? Or will it make it not look so good? I think I better leave it and I'm gonna bring you down because there is some awesome effects in there. We'll have to see how it dries, but I think it definitely be awesome for a resin coat. It looks stunning. Oh, look at these edges on my canvas. They do look absolutely awesome when the colour and the cells come over the edge. But look, stretched out. I just love the effect stretched out rather than the nice, neat bloom. I really do love this stretched out effect. It's so cool. Look at this. The shimmer in this is unbelievable. So can you imagine with a coat of resin, these colors will absolutely pop. And it's actually nice not ha you know, having that different point of interest. It's not all the um, cells. That's a funny going on there. Looks like some little feet in there. It's um, quite weird, but I just love it. That looks black and white in the camera, but it's not. It's like a real, um, that real rusty brown colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, there you go. I've given it a red hot go. The Shelley Art recipe, doing all the recipe as per um, Shelley Art course explains and lots of other people, as I've said on the internet, but that's a lovely piece, it really is. The coat of resin, and I think it would look nice in a raw frame. Looks beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me, as always, my lovelies. Please take care if you're feeling sad, lonely or depressed. Ring a family member or a friend. Do not suffer in silence. Go do something that gives you joy. Bye for now.